So I just posted, although it's still loading, god damn it hair, um, although it's still loading, I just posted a video of me doing some BJJ. So I'm hoping now to uh, put this in the editing process and to make a video of me doing some boxing. This is just going to be some drills, some of the handworks that we did, some stuff going back and forth between me and my buddy Casey. But uh, with that aside, I'm happy that you guys are here. And, oh, be bold, young, be bold. Hey, thank you. Please. Like the videos, watch the videos, tell your friends to watch the videos, watch the videos over and over and over and over and over again, watch it again, rewatch it, send it to somebody else, tag it on your Facebook, share it to all your friends, please help me get some views, help me get some more subs, and if you like this, go to GoFundMe. Right now, I got one, one gentleman who has, and thank you, but please give me a hand here, guys. Alright, now there's not too, too much for me to say about this here, but this first section is going to be me hitting it, so you see I'm working on my left hook, trying to keep the hands nice and high. Some of the things you can watch here is try to focus on how much my hips actually rotate over. That's really where you should be watching um, to see if I'm really getting anything out there. So how much my hips rotate and how much my heels come off the ground, kind of showing whether or not I'm pivoting or not. That's really what I'm trying to work on with this. I'm really working on pivoting through my hips, keeping my hand nice and tight, and my chin down. Um, after this, you'll see my buddy Casey keeps hitting some hits as well. Um, I guess it's also worth mentioning that this is at the end of the long hour of practice. So the videos that you're going to see after this actually happen before. So this is at the end of the long day. But um, this is just us going through some stuff, working, adding a combination, and just building to it. And yeah. This drill right here is what we like to call trade fun. This is kind of a reaction drill, but it's kind of meant to do, it's meant to build into built into your, your nervous system so that when somebody throws a strike at you, the second you block it, you fire right back. Because if that hand is touching you, that hand obviously can't protect you. Now this is my little Casey. You're going to see a much different style with him. The way we're doing it. It's a little differently. The style is different. Um, some of the things you see Casey working on is uh, he's working on this book still. And then we're a lot of different distance with things you see, like you'll have his combinations are different than that. They're not as long, but they're he's working on different stuff. He's working on different distance with him, we're trying to get a super strong pop on his left hand. You see Casey's really explosive. You see me in the background kind of derping off. I wasn't, I wasn't 100% certain if the video I was going to be able to catch me hitting the mitt and hitting the back, so I kind of looked at him like but, uh, some drills over here. Um, some of the drills that we do a lot come off of a slip, meaning somebody throws a jab and you slip it. Comes off of you throw a hook and you parry the hook, meaning you just keep that hand there and you block it. Or another one would be you throw a hook or a jab and the person slips back. So what we're doing here is a little bit reactionary. It's kind of like freestyling because he kind of knows what's coming, but at the same time I'm just calling them and we're trying to kind of add some stuff at the end of it. So some of this is going to be kind of just different because we're going to try to improvise some techniques as we go. So it's there. See, I'm trying to just keep, keep him honest, give him some stuff back, make sure his hands come back up. He tried to do a little, tried to duck under. We're just kind of 
he knows what's coming for the most part, and I know what he's coming back with. But we're trying to improvise the range, that's why we're moving. What's good about using gloves is that you can do that, you both can be bouncing around, kind of make it look realistic. Yeah, now we're chit chatting, we're coming up with a new combo right now. So when you see it happen live, we're discussing what the combo is going to be. And so we decided that we're going to throw it, and at the end of it, he's going to do a hook to the body. And I think we're going to follow that off with a cross. Hook, boom, cross, as he's angling off. So we started with the simple drill that we had, and then we're adding to it, and that's where it's getting to near the end there. Last drill, I'm basically doing the same drill, trying to keep my hands nice and high, keep my head down, work some head movement, and we're gonna be doing the same thing off of a jab, off of a hook, and you're gonna see during this drill as well that he's gonna come up with something. We're gonna try to just improvise some combos as it goes on. So it's gonna be a little bit live. But you see the whole thing is that we're working distance, we're working range. So if he throws that left hook at me, I have to stay close. If he throws a jab and I slip off, that changes the distance entirely. So the way I can hit that right hand from me actually blocking it from a left hook and the way I can hit that right hand for me jumping back and the way I hit that right hand for me stepping off to the side are all completely different and the distance of that is different and that's going to be the difference between hitting somebody with a punch and knocking them out or not. So that's kind of what we're working on here is making sure that the distance is right. Now we're adding a combo to it, adding the left hook to the body, coming back upstairs, little Mike Tyson style trying to work one hand, lead hand. Mike Tyson was famous for his hook to the body and then uppercut with the same hand. There, I did it right there. I'm doing, just playing a little bit, working my distance, using my jab, trying to make sure that I keep myself at a good distance so that I'm doing everything legit. So yeah, there we go. the last one here. You see me just ending a combo. He's been figuring out what the combination is going to be. He's going to add something at the end. He's going to throw a hook at the end of it. I'm going to block and then I'm going to retaliate with the right hand. So what we're doing here is we basically took in a basic drill that we've been given and now we're kind of adding to it so that we can keep working while other people are still practicing that same basic drill. We've, multi we've added different layers to it to make it more realistic. So we just keep building it and getting more and more and more. And that's how something basic that starts off is just one, two, three, turns into one, two, block, three, slip one. And all these numbers, these numbers stand for punches. Typically in most systems you'll hear that one is the jab, two is the cross, three is the hook, four is the uppercut, five is the lead uppercut, six might be the shovel hook with the lead hand, seven might be the shovel hook with the rear hand, eight might be the overhand right, and then on top of that it's going to be more overhand, and on top of that it's going to be kicks. I tried to refrain from saying left and right because those are just punches. And we embrace, this is the end. 